Hey, welcome back. We're in the book of Philippians. We're at chapter 2, verses 3 and 4 this morning. Let's read it, and then we'll think about it. Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit, but in lowliness of mind let each esteem others better than himself. Let each of you look out not only for his own interests, but also for the interests of others. Now, this is a text that some people have used at different times to sort of make an excuse to get into other people's business. Right, look not only on your own things, but look on the things of others. And we do have a responsibility to think of the welfare of others. But we also start with the first responsibility to look to our own things. And so God gave consciences to each individual person. So yes, we make sure our house is in order. There's no logs in our eyes before we try to get into somebody else's eye. But even then, that person has rights. That person is made in the image of God. That person has, has free choice. You cannot overrun that person's free choice. And so we want to watch for how we can bless others, how we can help others. We want to watch how we can help them, especially spiritually. But at the end of the day, remember, you can't force. Jesus could not take and, and take those Pharisees and run up to them and wrestle them to the ground and pound them a few times to help them see. It just doesn't work that way. It's got to be free choice, and so there was no such event as that. The truth cuts, and a lot of people don't like the truth. But what we want to do is live out the truth, make it attractive to others, and that's part of looking out for the things of others. This text could be used, you know, to say, well, we're going to have a worship law. Everybody has to go to church on a certain day, and we're going to just make sure it happens. You know, we'll get them there some which way, and when they're there, they'll be converted. It's not the way it works. It's not the way it works. We need to let God be God. He gave us free choice. He gave my neighbor free choice. And I want to be winning toward him, but I, I do look out for his things, but I don't overrun his choices. So, hey, let's, let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we want to help our neighbors be right. We want to help them move towards the kingdom, Lord. That's certainly our desire and our plan. Be our helper, Lord, so that this happens. Help us to respect their individuality, respect their choices, even some of their choices that we look at and say, oh, that's, that's the wrong choice. We still can love them even if they make the wrong choice. Oh, Lord, help us to be right. Help us to make your faith attractive and to respect the free choice you've given to others as well. Even as we stand for the truth without compromise, even as we do that in the kindest way, help us, Lord, to help others move towards you. But also to know where the boundaries are. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. So let's be about our Father's work today. Hey, it's a new day. Go get them.